Hey, Sneaky Lurks back again today. Today we have for you a Gen 2 based distro called Sabion. Yes, yeah, Sabion 11 to be precise. Now a lot of you out there have said, I would really like to give Gen 2 a go, but I'm really scared by the stories it takes 24 hours to install, blah de blah de blah de blah de blah. Well, there's a couple of people out there who really like Gen 2. There's a, there's a caddy Gen 2 lover and there's a caddy's nanny Gen 2 lover out there in, in Australia somewhere. So I thought, yeah, if you want to know about real Gen 2, go and ask him. But if you want a pre-configured Gen 2, here's the way to go. Sabion. Now, it is a rolling release, but they do come out of one every so often, which is about every four months. So not anyway. So up to Sabion 11. So once you install it, you shouldn't have to do it again. Unless it goes bang, of course, and you can't get your system back, then just go and get the latest disc and off you go. Bob's your uncle and Fanny's your aunt. Now, this is the XFCE edition. Now, it's all installed and updated. I mean, there was 109 updates to do, and there's my little thing up here saying, your system is up to date, super duper, which I like. Clock my workspaces, because XFCE, clipboard, my network up in the corner there. The menu is actually in the top left on this version, okay? Oh, by the way, you've got little places here. There's me, me trash rubbish desktop and file system and my applications menu up in the top left there's basic xfce so we've got just quickly have a quick look for you so under settings you get all the xfce stuff flash player comes as standard super duper yes i really did like it you get your file manager so there's quite a bit more here than normal isn't there? there's quite a bit more but again it is a rather large download so there we go you get your workspaces down here as i said before file manager file display bloody bloody blah under accessories, usual, but you do get GNOTE as well as LeafPad, okay? Under the graphics, you get Feh, whatever that is. So it might be a missing icon when I've just updated it, I don't know. Gimpage are standard, also Restrato and Shopwheel for your photographs. Under internet, you get Gnome PPPP for your dial-up stuff, if you've still got dial-up. If you have, I really do feel sorry for you. Midori is your browser of choice here, so we're going to open them up. You also get Pigeon and Transmission down there as well. This is a Sabion homepage, okay? Oh, by the way, they use DuckDuckGo for their search engine. But if you click here, you can get Google and Yahoo, get whatever you want to, really. So that's no big deal, is it? So this is their page, okay? So that's nice. 7 tells you all about it. Now I'll quickly run through what they've said here on the release, which was a couple of days ago. I just haven't had time to do it real quicker, actually. If you want GNOME, it's GNOME 362. If you want KDE, it's 395, upgraded to 410 as soon as possible. I think that's already been done. XFC 410 is what we're using here, LibreOffice 363, which I like. Right, it is compatible with uh, Secure Boot, okay? It's using the naughty bit, you know, yeah, you know what I mean, yeah. It's using Matthew Garrett's Grub Bootloader, with his, his little shim thing, it's, it's just a workaround, okay? It's not a total solution, but it does work. So if you've got a UEFI board, you can use it. If you haven't, no big deal, so it's okay. Okay, there's NVIDIA Optimus and Bumblebee support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loads of new packages, which there is. I've gone through them. There's quite a few. If what's the right Sabian for you? Well, a good one. But there is lots of different ones to use. So you've got GNOME, you've got KDE, you've got Mate, you've got XFC, and you've got 64 and 32-bit versions. Don't forget that. Then you've got the Core CDX and the Super Server and the Hardened Server and the Server Base. I've even seen an Enlightenment E7T one, but that was a long time ago. Maybe that's a community one that I don't remember, to be honest with you. So, I'm going to put YouTube in the top here, just to see how the site renders, basically, at the end of the day. Now, so we're just using DuckDuckGo, it comes up like this. It's all right. Actually, that doesn't, doesn't render too good, does it? Hmm, never mind. At least we know now, don't we? So, we'll go over to YouTube, and we'll check it out. Okay. I'm going to put me in, just to make sure that it does come up with me and it renders the videos okay. So we'll just go down to a roll day. There's a Vector Linux one from a while ago, okay? So we'll see if he plays out of the box. And in theory, it should do, okay? In theory. Yes, I said in theory, just in case it doesn't. Yeah, looks all right to me. That will pay. Bloody f Who puts the videos on there? I just don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We'll skip the video and make sure my video runs correctly. Five, five, three, two, one. Yeah, it seems to be working for me. Can we do yes, we can do anything you want there. So that's nice. So let's quickly skip there. Yeah, we we'll quickly skip there. That's better. There you go, I'm talking to myself. Nice. Right, so that works alright. So flash out of the box. Basically, you just put the distro on your computer and off you go. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah. Office. The full Libra Office suite, as I said before. And others. Wine is pre-installed for you, so if you want to do a bit of wine stuff, like I'm not sure what version of wine it is. Actually. I'm not going to worry about it too much. 
Okay, under Savion, you get the download locations, Gen 2 documentation. I'll just quickly open that for you just so you can have a look in the book. We'll go that one there, don't we? Go that one and we'll get rid of that one there. Go away. This is all the Gen 2 documentation if you want to read through it. Now, there is a lot of it, okay? So if you want to do a full Gen 2 installation, give it a go. But like, have a different computer to do it on, if you know what I mean. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Then we'll get rid of that. Okay, what else we got in that menu? On Savion. Report bugs, the Savion Git repos, the help forum, which is very helpful, I must say, homepage, and the Savion packages. Under system, you already get a firewall, as I've already said before, and Rego is your application browser. Can we have a look at that? Yeah, go on. We'll go to Rego. Basically, it says repository and where you get your programs from. Okay. Now, Ben is already updated. We can just look for saying. So, if I look for OpenShot, hit enter, and there's OpenShot. If I highlight it, I can install that if I want to. So, yeah. Okay. Wait for it to do its stuff. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, we want to do it. I accept it, which is always at the top. Don't wait for it to do anything. You have to accept first. Okay. Yes, we want to accept the dependencies as well. Accept forever. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Confirm. Yes. No, I've confirmed. Go on, off you go. And it wants my password. And in theory, if I type that incorrectly, no, which I didn't. We'll do that again. That's better. Now, in theory, it should start downloading. So I'll move it up just slightly for you so you can see what it's doing. Show me the activity. There we go. It's downloading all that stuff for us, and then it will start installing. I'll open up this little window here so you can actually see what it's doing. There you go, scan to the mirrors. Blah, blah, blah. Now, while that's doing, I will explain some things to you. Using Sabion, the updater, and getting in packages is a bit different from other distros. It normally takes quite a month. A lot longer, much longer. No, even bloody longer. It takes a lot longer than your normal repository. But that said, once you have your system working, it is normally super stable. I've got Savion running on another system here, and I've never had it go wrong. So, what can I say? Nothing really, can I? No. Right. While it's doing that, we'll go back to the menu and a quick look at other stuff it's doing. Should we go to a different one there? Yeah, we'll go there. Go back to applications here. Went to system, didn't we? Right, I'm going to open the task manager for you. Now, remember, it is doing stuff at the moment, so it should go whoosh over the top. Well, obviously, it's not installing yet because it's not actually doing much. It's using around about 300 mega of my RAM, but none of my swap. So, yeah, I can live with that. That's super. Okay, we'll go back, see how he's getting on. And we're installing. Now, this shouldn't take too long at all. It's quite quick, considering. Okay, it's just installing the, the uh, other bits that it needs. Yeah, the dependencies. It's cleaning up, it's unpacking some other stuff. Should we go and look at something else or should we keep going? What do you mean? We're going to look at something else, okay. Back to system. You've got your Thunar file manager, which I've shown you already up there, which is also up here, as you can see. Back down. You get UX term, XFC terminal, and XT terminal, so three terminals for you to use. Your printer should be plug and play, especially if it's HP, okay? You should plug it in, it should recognize it, and off you go. And you can get the HLib dependencies for your HP printers as well. Don't forget about that. Okay, that's all I can really say about it, really. Now, all we're doing is waiting for this to install, but we could be some time. So what we'll do, we're going to go back, we're going to open up our browser once more. Okay, go to Internet, Midori. Wait, 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 wait. Now, we'll just see how the BBC renders while we're waiting for it to do stuff, okay? So it's still quite usable even though it's installing, so I'm quite happy with that, personally. BBC.co.uk... I wish I didn't use Midori though, I wish I used something else personally. We'll go to the BBC news page and we'll just see what's going down and down, 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 down. Still hard working, see? Working hard. When you update um, Savvy and stuff like that, you get lots of little snippets like working hard and cool. And they're trying to be a cool distro, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All looks good to me. Let's look up there. Let's go out to that. We're just making sure it renders fine, which it does. Now remember, you can get Firefox if you want. It will work for you, no problem. So you can do that if you want. We're still installing. I could wait, or shall I go? Shall I go, or shall I wait? This is what I meant about installing the stuff, okay? Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut this bit of the video and wait till it installs, and then we'll come back to it in a second. 
There you go, there you go. Six, seven minutes later, it's almost installed, okay? This is what I was telling you about installing stuff in Gen 2 and Sabion in general, okay? So it's almost done now. Yeah, no, I'll happily ignore that, that's fine for me. Applications managed successfully. Okay, that's okay by me, it's just updating stuff. Calculating updates. We'll wait a bit till it finishes us out. So it goes, okay, thanks. And it's still doing its stuff. Can we get rid of it yet? Probably not. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or shall I don't know. We should just get remote, do we? Yeah. Are we installed? Or are we not installed? It probably is. So we can now get rid of that. We go down to applications menu, go down to multimedia, open shot is here, and in theory it should open for us. Or do we have to reboot the system? No, it's gonna open for us. And there you go. Open shot is installed with all its dependencies that took all that extra time. So that actually took around about nine minutes to actually do, didn't it, in the end. But on the whole, if you've got a reasonable system and you want to run Gen 2, Sabion is probably the easiest way to do that. I like it. 89%. Sneaky Linux carrying out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.